Do you find yourself working so hard on your content for your social media, but you're not sure if it's a high quality content? If you want to learn how to create high quality content, this is the video for you. I'm going to give you the tips right now. So let's start. So when creating content to your social media, make sure that your content is original, that it's something that is special for you. And it doesn't mean that you need to reinvent the wheel, but it means that you create content, that you bring your own perspective, that you take it from an original perspective of your side. you coming from a different angle. So there's a lot of materials and a lot of things that are probably copy pasting each other and repeating each other, but you can still be original. You can still find a way to bring your own perspective, use a different angle that maybe no one actually used up until now. So that's your opportunity. By doing that, you actually bring something else, something that others are not bringing, something that the quality is higher because it's yours. It's yours and it's original. And that's the thing. So really try to think when you look at your content, when you're creating it, how you can become more and more original. And again, as I said, it doesn't mean that you need to bring a topic that no one spoke about necessarily. Yes, if you do have a topic that no one actually touched or no one actually speaks about, that's amazing. But it's not a must. But try to think about it from that side. How do you bring yourself through it? And by that, creating something that it's original. Tip number two, make sure that you have strong headlines, okay? So when you start a post, when you're writing that content, give it an amazing title. Just like something that's going to catch their eye, like a strong headline. So it can be, for example, five tips on how to grow your social media. You know, uh, you can bring like, how many of you are tired of chasing after likes? I've got a solution for you. Think about different ways of doing it and bringing it different headlines that will get people to stop for a second and say, oh my God, I want to read it. I think it's got the answers that I'm looking for. Because think about it, there is so much content out there, so much. So if you don't stand out with your image and the video that you're creating, stand out with your headlines. Bring something strong, also very short, not too long, because people are not going to read it, okay? You need to catch their eye. So think about no matter what your business is, even it can be like three tips to make your makeup look very natural or things like that. So really try to think about how you can make something that will catch their eyes. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and like hit the bell for a notification where a new video is coming. But I'm going to continue now with tip number three. Tip number three, and it's super important, is something that I keep on repeating all the time. It's regarding your target market. Know your target market. Listen to them. Listen to them on what they're writing on the different social media platforms. What the questions they're asking. What are the answers? What are the discussions that they are participating in? Listen to your clients. Your clients also tell you. If you see a certain question that repeating itself, it will give you an idea on what to do. Um, I can say that I had a meeting with a client that she asked me a certain question. By me demonstrating, I realized that other people are asking as well. So that made me to create a certain type of content that now others were also loving it. And by you creating something that your clients and your potential clients, which is your followers, are loving and are interested about, it means they're going to engage more. If they engaging more, it's going to help you with the algorithm to grow. And that's going to help you to actually bring and attract more potential clients. So just listen to them. They exactly tell you what is the type of content they're looking for. And that's going to help you create quality, uh, high quality content because you listen. You listen. That's super important. So don't forget, always listen to them. They actually tell you in their meetings and in everything. So just open your eyes. The next one is to write short and straight to the point content. Don't go all around with too much. Think about it. When there is a long post, most people won't read it fully. They will read it like in certain parts. Okay, so we'll read the first paragraph, the second paragraph, but pretty much that's it. They're not gonna continue till the end. So why? You're missing it out. Right, straight to the point, think about it. We are surrounded with so much content, so much content around us, so many images, so many videos, so many quotes. People are getting lost. So if you can catch the eye, as I said in the beginning, with a strong headline. And now straight to the point, very accurate, very specific, 
content that's going to help you. That's going to help you lots with them because they're going to read it and it's going to improve the quality of your content. Tip number five, and it's also super important, is to make your content um, to be very actionable, okay? A lot of the time we're missing out on this. Make it something that it gets them to think, it's get them to react, it's get them to do something, it's get them even to do to get give them some homeworks to do. If I'm gonna get you now to think, and that's the purpose of the video. Am I getting you to think about the quality of your content? Am I making you getting you to think about like what's going on? I'm giving you some actionables. Try and go check, check your content, see which one are you are following, which one you're not, what you want to change, what you want to work on, where you can improve yourself. There's always room for improvements, right? So make them to understand that they need to do something. Get them to do something. Get them even to go read an article on your website. Get them to reach out to you and ask questions. Get them to sign up um, to a course you've got. Get them to do something. Get them to be to have an, a certain type of action in it because that's going to get them to engage more and by engaging more that's going to help you grow grow your business and grow in general on social media so why not right. the next step it's also super important create content that can be answered okay so it's either you're going to be able to answer the questions uh, after they read the post or even during that post, while they read it, they're getting answers. That's why like, I always recommend to start um, the post with um, a stop of question, just to start a certain discussion and get them to engage more. So by doing that, you can also answer the question. Don't leave them with a certain type of gap that they don't know what's gonna happen now, that they don't know what's like, okay, now I'm stuck. You created something that like you made me think, now but what's happening, like what's going on, how can I do? Don't forget to create a content that can give them the answers, the answer to what they're looking for. Even if the answer is going to lead them, that you give them part of the answer, for the rest of it, they need to content you, contact you. But that's it. Don't forget to so just answer the question. Don't leave them hanging out out there without knowing what's going to happen now next. So if I'm quickly going to sum it up, think about it. When you want to create good quality of content, Really listen to your target market, listen to your clients, listen to your followers. They've got the answers in them. But when they give you the ideas on what type of content to do, make sure that it's short, straight to the point, make sure there's some actions in it that you lead them to think, to contact you, to actually do something and not just to sit quietly, bring a strong headlines and answer the question. Even if it's partially because you want to lead them to come to you for the rest, but still, get them to something that they can take out of it. Give them some takeaways. So do it, listen, follow those different steps and you're gonna see how it's gonna help you to improve the quality of your content and that's gonna help you to improve also engagement on social media. So I really hope you learned some new stuff. Share with me in the comments below, what are your takeaways from this video? Which tips are you are using now? Which one are you gonna use? I would love to hear from you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.